Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as the Legion of Chaos going up against the Ice Court, where we've got a pretty large garrison force here, but the forces coming at us are just a lot stronger. I can see why this guy had a lot of trouble with this battle. Now, we do have the ability to seduce a unit, so I'm just going to hover over some of these units, show you which ones we can seduce, and before I tell you which one we should just seduce, I want you guys to see if you can guess which one would be the correct one to seduce. Uh, we can't get Sargard. Uh, we can get Armored Cossars. We can get the Cossars of Spears. We can get the uh, Cossars. Uh, can't get Griffin Legion. Can't get the Heavy War Sleds or the Light War Sleds. Can get the Horse Archers. Can't get the Little Groms. Uh, what else is there? Can't get the Armored Cossar. Can't get the Streltsies. Can't get Heroes, obviously. So which unit do you think we should take? Well, the correct answer is the horse archers. So why the horse archers are we stealing them exactly? Well, because we don't have any fast units in our army and this defensive position here is really good if you have one fast unit. Now, another thing that we're going to do is not control large army. Now, what this means is that most of this army here isn't actually going to show up at the start of the battle. In fact, um, all of the Nurglings and the Plague Toad and the Rotflies won't show up. Now, the thing is, the Rotfly is probably the most useless unit for us on the battlefield. It loses against everything. And if you're thinking, why not use it against Little Groms? They lose in melee against Little Groms. It's just totally useless. So, having it not available at the start of the battle, eh. Who cares, you know? Same thing with Nurglings. Eh, whatever. And also, these are our fastest units. So they can actually get into the battlefield relatively quickly. Now, unfortunately, they're going to show up at the same location as the enemy reinforcement, which sucks. But, oh well, what are you going to do about it? What this will do is just slow things down considerably so that our towers can rip them to shreds. You know, let's jump in here and see what we can do. Now, based on the email, the guy said that the little Groms gave him the biggest uh, trouble, which I can totally understand why that would be the case. So... Since I can't snipe the little Groms, I don't... Like, the towers that we can build aren't good at taking out single entities. And, um... Uh, the barriers get completely destroyed by just get one shot from the little Grom. Um, we kind of need to suck it up. We could use the horse archers here to waste some of its ammo. But I would have to, like, keep an eye on it. And that's not really a good idea, considering we got a lot of other forces coming. So yeah, um, okay. So it's a good defensive position here. Now he's g dedicated to Nurgle, but that doesn't mean we get Nurgle towers. It seems like Chaos Undivided have their own set of towers, where Arrow Tower, Arrow Tower, uh, Hell, uh, Hell Cannon, right? That's the one that we're going to want. The 1400, that's going to be the most cost effective. Like the... 2001 does more damage, right? Yeah, it definitely does more damage, but we need to get this stuff shooting earlier. Uh, it would be good to build a spike trap here to lower their melee defense. Yeah, low increasing our melee attack is not important because uh, we barely have any to begin with. So, most of their little groms are standing over here. If I deploy my... Let's see, where should we deploy you? Because your job is supposed to be to annoy the hell out of them and to recap points. They're going to be bombarding this area here the most. So, I reckon putting a unit of Nurglings here... And just sort of running back and forth. That's probably going to be... Uh, what if... Yeah, if we run back and forth, maybe we can just mitigate the amount of damage that we take. Because that's a low value unit. Um... They shouldn't be able to see us if we're standing up over here. So I'm going to put all the pink horrors there, just for the time being. First thing that we want to build is a tower over here. Let me just have one of them stand out front of it there. If 
for me, if it shows up in white, that means that it's uh, obstructing it. It won't be built. All right, and then this one here. We've got to figure out a good place to put it. I could run to here and then swing around. Uh, the Griffin Legion won't be able to catch me. Uh, let's see. You, you come stand over here just trying to die. It's okay. If you get shot a little bit by the cannons, you won't instantly die. And the barrier will block a lot of the shot. Yeah, so building a tower here, even the 900 one, it just isn't going to do that much at all. But now we just got to figure out where best to put this. Because if we just put him around the back here, right, he's eventually just going to get pincered and it'll be for nothing. Then if we're going to do that, we should have just gotten one of the, um, the Cossars. Uh, if I swing around over this way, I can hide him over here, slowly come around this way and start recapping points as the battle progresses. Because these guys are going to come up this way. But if I come out this way, maybe I can dodge a few shots to begin with. Of the, uh, the little Groms. Yeah, that might be the best course of action. Just to begin with. Probably going to get hit once or twice. But if I run into here, the trees will provide some blockage. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright, let's go. So yeah, it would be good if we could find some way to waste the little Groms ammo. But I think there's just no ideal situation for that. So we might as well just <laughs> suck it up. Sometimes you just go up against units that you just, just can't deal with. Alright, that's it. Just run out of this way. They might uh, start shooting. Yeah, they're going to. But we're hidden now. Okay. Just stay there. So we want to use them later on the battle. Okay, what are they shooting at? Looks like they're trying to hit the Nurgling unit here. And if that's the case, good. Alright, there we go. So far, so good. Ah, oh, yeah, they've got one over there as well. Oh, fuck me, yeah. Uh, why don't you go over there instead? Because at least if you get hit, the barrier will... Well, uh... <laughs> it'll block it a little bit. Just a little bit. So, yeah, let's, um... Run back and forth a little bit. There's no point putting them in the docking area. It just becomes sitting ducks with that. Yeah, doing that's not really helping. Just go wide. We might end up losing the Nurgling unit, but having them... Let's move back a little bit. Um, having them waste most of their ammo at this point would be okay. I just wish our reinforcements didn't come from here. But we should also try not to lose any units, because I don't want reinforcements coming in right now. It'd be really, really bad if they came in right now. So when this one's taking a bit of damage, I'll pull it out and cycle in another one. Okay, get back over here. Oh, I forgot to build this in time. Oh, I tell you what, those, those sleds are so dangerous. Let's start putting guys over here. Absolutely wrecking those blue horrors. I'm not sure if this is actually going to get built. Move that back. Alright, move that one back. You come over here. Okay, they're starting to come in a little bit. Pop down this here, and they should only have a few units coming in. Yeah, just a couple. Okay, that's fine. This bounce of power is even. Don't worry about this guy right now. And unfortunately, the blue horror got wrecked. Not going amazingly well here. Their army is just really good at handling what we've got. That's the problem. Fucking heavy sleds. Reducing their armor is a complete waste. 
doesn't need to do anything. I gotta, I gotta get more guys up in here, or else I'm gonna start capping this position, which would not be good. Shit, reinforcements came in. Uh, it didn't come in from the place I thought they were going to. Okay, that's not so bad then. Uh, start coming in. Alright, so if we go Plague of Rust, you know, it'll. Do a little bit more damage to them. Start bringing in more of the reserves. Problem is, little Groms are coming up over here, and they are going to absolutely wreck house if we're in a blob. Okay, I've got to get rid of these bloody things. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they shot it down. Holy crap. Don't see that very often. Damn. That's not good. It's going to take a little while before I can rebuild that. It's like, just thinking, how the hell did they get that? I didn't, uh, I didn't lose the position. No, they actually shot it down. Alright, bouncer power is even at the moment, but we've got to keep in mind... That, uh, oh god, they're trying to shoot the pink horrors, but they're not doing that much damage. I wish there was something else I could do here. The fact that these little groms are coming into melee is really good. Okay. Start bringing this guy in, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. It's not, not too bad so far. The fact that we lost that isn't that big of a deal. Because it's not putting that much pressure on us at the moment. And they did just essentially send their little groms into melee. No, uh, stop shooting at the ones that have lost their barrier. Stop bringing our guys down over here. Because, yeah, it'll take them ages to come over here. They're going for our best units. Alright, let's see if we can cast something. That looks pretty good. I'll take that. Don't worry too much about this. I don't think he's doing too much to us. Hey, that got, got built. That's good. We can build again over here, but we want to make sure we build that 1400 tower. So yeah, this one's going to do a lot of damage. Alright, we need this one here to be shooting at infantry, not single entities. So the armored Cossars would be a good choice. Okay, uh, just back off or else that one is coming in. Since that's a Cossar with spear, we definitely shouldn't go in on that. So, so far we've lost two units. It's not too bad. Alright, this can be built again. That's good. Hundred and eighty-two kills on him. Good. Yeah, just wait. Wait until they start shooting before we cast that. Which I didn't wait. <laughs> Don't even listen to my own advice sometimes. Alright, so come in over here. Alright, we need to recap this point. Maybe get the Nurglings into melee with it. What's going on here? And then charge that one in, maybe. But I can't really get around it at the moment. But things are things are okay at the moment. Uh, that's probably doing a bit of damage. But we have plenty of reserves. And we just need to calmly deal with this as they start coming in one little bit at a time. Yeah, they're going to cap that, which isn't ideal. But this is working out pretty well here. But at least that one's almost out of ammo. And the fact that these ones are about to be destroyed is really good. Yeah, let's pull this one out. Yeah, how about you don't shoot? That might be better. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of this way. Come on, get over here. Yeah, could you come over here, try to get rid of their general? Alright, here we go, we can rebuild this. Nice. Alright, let's bring in some reserves. Somebody that's uh, got all their barrier would be nice. That's why he's getting shot. Go, go sit over there. Bouncer power is looking good, but they have loads more reinforcements than we do. Okay, they should be able to handle those cossars. Yeah, the reinforcements might actually make it into the city. They probably won't, but... I don't know. That's it. Keep this one in melee so it doesn't shoot. Right, kill that lord. This one out of here, doing too much damage. You move up. Yeah, I really want to try to make as much use out of the barriers as possible. If you can shoot that unit there, would be good. Alright, how about we put down a cast as well? On. Oh, don't cast on something that's like engaged with our own troops. I think that'd be a mistake. Just wait for a good shot. How'd we go over here? Alright, the unit that was there, I think, got wiped out. Okay, here looks like a decent opportunity. Let's take that. Good. Having a little Grom being destroyed with that much ammo is really good for us. Really, really good. Okay, pull this one out. Let it get some rest. You come over here. Get in over there. Okay, I, I gotta put a stop to this fucking dickhead here. It would be really good if we kill this all, but I don't want to use Spirit Leech on him. Although it would kill him. It would kill him, it's just such a bad use of magic. It's not ideal, but what about... Just wait for him to stop moving, and pop that down. Ah, fuck it. Good, about to recap a point. Begin the soul hunt. And this tower's back up and running again. This one here is mostly just buying us time so we can recap this point. Bounce powers even, but they have way more reinforcements than us to come in. A lot more. We've only got a handful of units. Can't get them in. Okay, I should really use this on a cavalry unit. It's quite good on them. We still got some reserves up here. Okay, that should essentially be the end of their little Groms as well, which is nice. And if we have a look, we did kill the enemy lord, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Don't shoot the single entities, it's not worth much. Okay, that position's been recaptured. Good. Um, just wait. Alright, let's see if we can swing around over here and, and recap that position. Bounce power's still in our favor. But it would be silly to think it's going to remain that way for the rest of the battle. It, it will not. As their reinforcements start to trickle in more and more, we are going to keep on suffering. They're shooting up there. Okay, here we go, here we go. Good. If that can start shooting as well, that'd be awesome. Hopefully they don't turn around and shoot us. Let's see. Kill their single entities. Yeah, there's a lot of war sleds to come in, and we're not good at dealing with it, and our towers aren't amazing at that either. We've also got a lot of heroes. Alright, they are... 
Are they shooting at us? What, what are they doing? Yeah, they're shooting at us. Get back. It's not essential that we uh, hold on to that position right now. Okay, this unit here is about to die off, unfortunately. Just gonna get friendly fire with that one. Okay, I don't have any reserves left over here. Yeah, we got someone coming out of server that way. And these wing lancers are just just pushing right through, which is a bit of a problem. Bouncer powers even, but still slipping away a little bit. We've still got a lot of troops to come in. Problem is these damn sleds just can't properly deal with them. And this guy here looks like he's gonna die. It doesn't matter, he's not the commander of the battle. But it's also not good. None of these spells okay oh shit, that's all the last of our reinforcements. This one here can just fly up here, but this one here can't. Alright, you two go around that way. Alright, it's good that we got three active towers now. That little Grom there just hasn't been shooting. Come on, kill another Lord, that'd be good. So don't lose him. I still got a bit of magic left. They're starting to cap this position here. Not good, but problem here is I don't have many troops left. How about you guys start coming up through here? Don't want to lose this. It's not the end of the world if we lose that position, but we really don't want to. It's about still even though. Sending in the pink horrors into melee, not ideal, but I'm just out of out of a uh, bloody meat shield here. We fight for Olson. I wonder if it's going to come down to this guy once again, just recapping positions constantly. But the problem is they're going to have fast units remaining. Okay, I think we got rid of a unit that was hanging around back here. Yeah, our other hero slash lord thing got killed. Alright, what's coming in? Ah, I'll pop it down on that one, probably. Bring these guys up here. Do not want to lose this position just yet. Got heroes coming after my hero. Don't like. Bounce, like I said, bouncer power is slipping away from us now. We have no more reinforcements, and they still have a fair bit to come in. Maybe fire at will. Still got some ammo left on these pink arrows. Would be good if they could shoot. But yeah, hold on to this position here as long as possible. Come on, guys. Get up here. Get up here. This guy here needs to stay in this position here. He's worth a lot of captain power. A bit of magic, but just no particularly good casts in here. Oh, man. Fucking sleds. Can you get rid of this dude here? Actually, no. Get rid of the fucking sleds. Alright, good. That position was captured. You charge into that. Alright, since we got that point, we have another tower to build over here. Good. Yeah, don't lose this guy. Come on, put more guys in here. More guys in there. <laughs> Jesus, look at single entities and, and uh, little... Uh, what's it called? Uh, sleds. Kicking my ass over here. Keep him out of it. The reinforcement showed up just in time. Because if this here gets built, we've got four active hell cannons going at once. Bounce of power slipping away from us, though. But... Okay. How about you come over here and we just continue holding onto this as long as we can. Only one position that we don't actually hold. 
And there are a few tower positions that we can build, but keep getting the, uh, the 1400 towers, they're good. Good, cleared this area out. <laughs> this is all we got left, it's not much. Oh dear, bounce of powers isn't very good. But the thing is, we got lots of towers now. Okay, they can't just shout friendly fire. I still got some magic. And, oh god, look at all the fucking sleds. How am I supposed to deal with that? Probably the Plague Toads of Nurgle. They could at least hold them back a bit. Alright, cool. We killed off all their lords. God, nail-bitingly close here. Ah, oh, there is still one of their lords there. Well, spoke too soon. Alright, how about you come over here and be somewhat of a nuisance. Gotta watch out for the sleds because they shoot back as well. It'd be great if we could inflict the army losses on them before they get too close. <laughs> Let's be real, that's not going to happen. Alright. They'll all be coming up through here now, so we just need to hold this position as best as we can. They don't have any more area of effect damage dealers. I'd love to go and recap this point here, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Just mess them around a little bit. Oh yeah, we still got this guy here as well. Don't forget about him. <laughs> Useless, but still. It's a, a bounce of power preserver. 85 kills. That's more than what we would have gotten with any other uh, seduced unit. Uh, no, go for the... Uh, definitely go for the Tsar Guard here. That guy there is not going to do much. That's a lot of darker. Alright, so where's another position that we can build on? This is one, and that's over here. Um, it's not great, but it's all I can build, so let's do it. Okay, good. The, uh, the Tsar Guard didn't do very much there. That's good. I was waiting for him to come past here, so I could swing right past him, try to recap this point. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't be taking casualties with this win. Doesn't matter if it survives the battle and they get it back. I'm just gonna try to win. Still got Searing Dooms, I know. Wait for them to start shooting. We really want to hit those armored Cossars with them, I think. The fact that some of them are coming around over here to cap that position is not too bad for us. Okay, hang on, what's he doing? Yeah, biggest concern is definitely the light war sleds. We just don't have enough here to deal with it. But once they come in here, if we can use the playing toads to just sort of hold them back a little bit. Uh, because the, uh, the light war sleds are anti-infantry, they're not going to do that great against plague toads. Okay, we got cavalry incoming here. Wind lances, get away from them. Doesn't matter if they cap this position. Oh, what happened there? Herald of the All right, here comes God. the bullshit. The bloody. Unless they're coming into melee with us straight away, not shooting. Just waiting for it to start shooting. Okay, keep him out of there. Could also use the rock flies to try to keep him back a little bit. Yeah, he's just going straight for the uh, horse archers. Great, Th that'll actually give us some use out of this tower then. 
Good news is, no more reinforcements coming. This is it. Alright, this looks like an okay spot for that. It's not too bad here, actually. I bet you land so they don't shoot you. Sitting ducks there. Kind of working. These guys here, they're actually holding the line a little bit. Alright, we got, we got these guys coming in. They didn't bother capping these positions. Just preserve that bouncer power as much as we can. I bet back off just a little bit until we actually need you. So after the plague toads have been used up, then we bring them in. Okay, need to be shooting them. Yeah, you're not going to be able to win against that. Okay, Searing Doom's always been pretty good against Cavalry. Probably gonna hit a little bit of our Nurglings, but their units are worth so much more than ours. I, I gotta hit them. Bouncer power's improving. Looks like we are gonna lose that piece. Oh no, they're kinda giving it up a little bit. I don't know what they're doing. Still do a couple more Searing Dooms. Bouncer Power's pushing. There is no more towers that I can build. Right now, I can build some useless barricades. Alright, this could be... What's this? Okay, that's good. Pop it down on that one. Once it starts shooting, I'll pop down a Searing Doom on it. The power's pushing. We just got so many hell cannons shooting. We will. Doesn't look like it's even wants to. Sh oh, it went rampage. Nice. Get into melee. Doesn't matter if that shot misses a little bit. At least it doesn't. It's not shooting at us. Counter power's pushing. It's. The sleds actually didn't do that much thanks to the plague toads. Let's keep that one out of it. They didn't capture this. They did capture this point though. Okay, it's a bit of a long way around, but you're gonna have to run all the way around here <laughs> to go and cap that other spot while this fight's going on. All right, I got one more searing doom and has to count. But I think the army losses is going to be inflicted really soon. Okay, here we go, here we go. Can I overcast it? Yes, I can. Wait until they start shooting. Is that it? Is that it? Is... No, not quite. Not quite. I guess we've taken too much damage. Bounce power's in our favor now. I think we've actually won. There it is. Army losses. We did it. It's too late to kill this guy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But that one there killed 85 troops and managed to recap a few points for us. I think it was the right choice for the Seduce. But yeah, barely anything's left of your army, but at least your army does get to survive. You don't lose your lord. And they lose a lot of troops. I think it was also the right call to keep the rock flies out of it. They're just really squishy. If we had sent them into melee when we did, they would have taken damage and we would have lost balance of power, so it's not worth it. Uh, I guess one thing that we can do with them is actually run down their troops because it's, it's our fastest unit. Well, we can't actually ensure that this unit gets killed because I can't cast any spells and I ran out of magic. Um, Yeah, that actually worked out for us. All of their lords got killed. And just about every single unit got wiped out. But yeah, this position here is really good, but all those bloody little groms. 
It was just quite lucky that they actually came into melee when they did. Alright, these are all dead units. What, what about that one? No, that's not dead. Ah, oh, but this unit's all over the place. They can't target the right thing. Yeah. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, good. Because you've got to get them down, I don't know, to about like 12 if you want to wipe them out for good. Boy, what a bunch of traders. So... You go down to 16. It might get wiped out. It might not. 15. Oh, it's still not left the battlefield yet. <laughs> it's just all over the place. So they just... Yeah, we got down to 10. It got wiped out. Yeah, perfect victory, maybe. But at least it's a victory. So a lot of these units got wiped out. But they're all fairly easy to replace. And if we had lost the battle, well, then you would have lost them all anyway. Yeah, that's all that's preserved. Oh, and the Lord. He'll get a ton of experience for this battle. I think it actually worked out pretty well to not control large army. I was concerned that my reinforcements were going to come in from bad locations, but they kind of didn't. They, for the most part, came in at the right location. Alright, which glory do you seem to want? Um... I don't know, I'll give you undivided. But yeah, absolutely smash their forces, so you should have enough time to, to rebuild it. Submit yourself to chaos. But yeah, that was a tough one. I think if we weren't recapping those positions that we lost, and we didn't have those towers shooting, we probably would have lost. So that was... where was that? Fort Stra that was over here. So he wasn't recruiting anything. But yeah, at least you survived another day and... I don't think any of their forces actually survived. Unless they force marched away, I didn't actually see. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learnt something. Sometimes it's uh, worth it to not control large armies. Sometimes it isn't. You gotta make a judgement call. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.